Welcome to a new era of cinematic exploration on our channel, where we delve into the realms of classic films, obscure gems, and must-watch masterpieces that deserve a place on everyone's bucket list. In this inaugural installment, we turn our gaze to There Will Be Blood, a towering achievement in the annals of cinema. This magnum opus of director Paul Thomas Anderson transcends mere entertainment, offering a profound meditation on the human condition set against the backdrop of America's tumultuous past. In the pantheon of cinematic achievements, few films stand as tall as There Will Be Blood, a tour de force exploration of the human condition. It plunges deep into the abyss of greed, corruption, and hubris, laying bare the fragile nature of the human soul. I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my boy! In the early 1900s, against the backdrop of the burgeoning oil industry, we find Daniel Plainview, initially a humble silver miner with dreams of wealth. However, his trajectory shifts dramatically in 1902 when he strikes oil near Los Angeles, California, sparking the birth of his own drilling enterprise. Initially presenting himself as a benevolent figure, Daniel adopts the orphan son of a colleague, named H.W., fostering an illusion of familial devotion. Yet beneath this uh, uh, facade lies a stark truth. Daniel's true allegiance lies not with family, but with the pursuit of power and riches in the oil trade. Leveraging his newfound status, he masquerades as a family man to win favor with potential business partners and employees, including the residents of nearby Little Boston, California. Enter Eli Sunday the charismatic preacher whose ambitions mirror Daniel's own. Seeking financial support to construct his church, Eli enters into a dubious agreement with Daniel, granting him access to the town's land for oil drilling in exchange for monetary aid. However, their fragile alliance quickly unravels as Daniel reneges on his promises, betraying Eli and exploiting his son's deafness for personal gain. As tensions escalate between the two men, it becomes evident that their supposed partnership is built on a foundation of mutual manipulation and self-interest. Both Daniel and Eli are willing to sacrifice morality and integrity in their relentless pursuit of wealth and influence, underscoring the moral complexities of America's capitalist landscape at the turn of the century. Crafted with a meticulous precision and unwavering vision, this magnum opus of director Paul Thomas Anderson is destined to be remembered as a timeless masterpiece resonating across generations for its profound insights and breathtaking artistry. At the heart of this cinematic triumph lies an ensemble cast that elevates every frame with their virtuoso performances. Daniel Day-Lewis, in a role that cements his status as one of the greatest actors of our time, immerses himself completely into the character of Daniel Plainview. Every day I drink the blood of lamb from band is tracked. A man consumed by his relentless pursuit of wealth and power. With every glance, every gesture, Day Lewis breathes life into Plainview, transforming him into a mesmerizing and enigmatic figure who looms large over the sprawling landscape of the American West. For me, it's the There Will Be Blood. Yeah, it's the fucking greatest movie ever. There Will Be Blood is the, the one. That character. It was so many things. He was a murderer, he was evil, he was kind, he was ambitious, he was a, a victim of circumstance, a victim of his environment, and also, you know, kind of a tyrant. Day-Lewis delved into a meticulous preparation process that included extensive research, method acting, and a keen attention to historical accuracy. Drawing inspiration from sources as diverse as classic literature and vintage technology, he crafted Plainview's distinctive voice and demeanor with precision. From studying period correct letters to mastering the use of authentic oil drilling tools, Day-Lewis left no stone unturned in his quest for authenticity. His commitment extended even to his insistence on approving every aspect of Plainview's wardrobe down to the sweat-stained hats that became synonymous with the character. Despite challenges such as conflicts with production over lighting due to his character's iconic headgear, Day Lewis's dedication remained unwavering. The result was a performance so captivating and immersive that it earned him critical acclaim and his second Academy Award.
As Daniel Day-Lewis himself declared upon completing the role, I'm finished leaving behind a legacy of acting brilliance that will endure for generations to come. And then there is the haunting score by Johnny Greenwood, a haunting symphony of strings and percussion that underscores the film's themes of ambition and decay. From the ominous strains of the opening credits to the cacophonous crescendo of the climactic finale, Greenwood's music serves as a potent reminder of the fragility of the human spirit, its capacity for both greatness and destruction. But perhaps what is most remarkable about There Will Be Blood is its timeless relevance. Despite being set in the early years of the 20th century, its themes of greed, corruption, and the corrosive effects of unchecked ambition are as relevant today as they were a century ago. In an age marked by rampant consumerism and unbridled capitalism, the story of Daniel Plainview serves as a cautionary tale a stark reminder of the dangers of losing sight of what truly matters in the relentless pursuit of wealth and power. In the end, There Will Be Blood is more than just a film. It is a cinematic odyssey, a journey into the darkest recesses of the human soul. It is a testament to the power of storytelling, of art, to illuminate the hidden truths that lie beneath the surface of our everyday lives. And as the credits roll and the lights come up, one can cannot help but be left in awe of the sheer magnitude of what has been witnessed, of the profound impact that great cinema can have on the hearts and minds of its audience. A maestro reaches across the room and starts to drink your milkshake. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up! Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Until next time, stay chic, stay tech savvy, and most importantly, stay tuned for more exciting content here on Chick Tech Spotlight. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content coming your way real soon.